Hello guys, welcome to my online course. My name is Ebony Fontana. I'm an EA at CPA at EA Tax Resolutions. A little bit about me. I had been doing taxes for the past 11 years. My husband and I started our own company five years ago. I specialize in small businesses tax returns such as Schedule C's and S Corps. In this course, I would like to show you three things. One will be how to help your small business clients save money on taxes. Two, how to prepare an S Corp tax return. And three, what are the most important rules for an S Corporation? So let's get started. So if you're a tax professional dealing with small business clients, you get these questions all the time. Is the number one way to save in taxes is to form an LLC and be elected to tax as an S Corporation? That is true in some cases. So should I form an S corporation or remain as a Schedule C, form a C corp instead or partnership? So in a Schedule C, if the company is profitable to a certain amount. So let's say it's your first year doing business. You don't know if your company is going to be making money um, or you're just running expenses. Again, it's the first year. I will suggest to stay as a Schedule C. I will show you a calculations on the next slide. Uh, next one is if you are making money now in your small business and then but you also are getting W2 income wages from another company um, it, that might stop you from saving money by forming an S Corp. Um, so I will show you the calculations in the next slide. Uh, C Corporation. So if you are not looking to get money out of your company and keep all the money there to reinvest it, then a C Corporation will be your ideal option. Uh, if if you are not looking for investors, so if you're looking for investors, stay as a C Corp. Um, that will make it easier for you to find investors and keep your books and records uh, in compliance. If the taxpayer is looking to take the company public. So if you're looking to go public with your corporation, um, stay as a C corporation. Now partnerships, uh, when there is a foreign investor. So if you have one of your partners or one of your members that you started this business with is in another country, he's he or her is actually in the other country, then you want to stay as a partnership because you will not qualify to be an S corp. And number two is that if you are, if you don't want to run any payroll, um, stay as a partnership. Of course, you have to have another member. You can't just be one person to form a partnership. Um, and yes, if you don't want to run any payroll, you can do partnerships, and um, that will that will qualify you as a partnership and not as an S corp. Okay, example number one. Let's. We have here blah blah company. On their first year doing business, they're expecting to make thirty-five thousand dollars. They have a gross sales of sixty thousand, expenses of twenty-five. They're netting thirty-five thousand dollars. Now, if we keep them as in Schedule C, they are going to pay self-employment taxes on the entire thirty-five thousand dollars. So we have five thousand dollars on Schedule C self-employment tax. Now, if the same income, we transfer it and form an S corporation instead, then out of the $35,000, we choose to run payroll for only 20000 $20, So instead of paying self-employment taxes on the entire $35,000, we pay pay payroll, which is the self-employment tax, on only $20,000. So this will give us a self-employment tax of $3,000. Yeah, now here in California, we have a minimum fee for having an S corp, S corporation form in California, or you also pay or between the $800 or the 1.5% of the net income, whichever is higher, of course. So in this case, $800 is the higher number. So the self-employment tax, 3000 plus the S corporation fees in California gives us about, let's say, for simplicity, $4,000. So as an S corp, you pay $4,000 on fees or on taxes. And as a Schedule C, you pay five. 
So this is saving us around $1,000. However, I will not suggest my client to form an S corporation, in this case, only making $35,000 because he's also going to incur some additional fees, such as tax preparation fees. So they have to file an, an additional form, additional tax return, the 1120S. They also have to have have to pay legal fees to form the corporation with the state that you're in. And there's payroll fees. So to get this $20,000, you have to uh, file tax returns for payroll and pay those fees. So that takes some um, additional fees that in, in this case, making $35,000, it doesn't make sense because you're probably going to pay more in fees than what you're saving. So I will suggest to stay as in a Schedule C and minimize all those fees and uh, pay this tax. Now on example two, we'll see the company making more money and see how much the difference is. Okay, so now the company is actually making real money. Now they have a profit and it's over a hundred thousand dollars and we're only counting the company and this person is single and there's no other income other than this business that they established so we have a gross sales of 190 expenses of 65 that equals a net income of 125 000. as a schedule c of sole prop you pay self-employment taxes on the entire net income so you're paying uh, 15 percent about 15% of 125,000, which in this case equals 17,661. Now, if we elect, if we form an LLC and elect to be, an, uh, be taxed as an S Corp, then we have to run our uh, payroll for the, for the owners. In this case, it's one owner. So we run the reasonable salary. We elect it to be 62,000. We will talk about reasonable salary and the next videos but uh, we typically what we try to do is not less than half of the net income in payroll should be run throughout the year because you pay it on either monthly quarterly basis to the IRS and stay uh, so we have our net income the same as here but we also deducting the compensation paid to to the owner and that gives us a net income of 62,500. And this is where we pay, uh, this is our ordinary income. Here we pay taxes on this, on our ordinary income as well. But we're focusing only on the self-employment taxes. So self-employment taxes, we're going to pay on the salary. So instead of pay, here we paid on the 125, here we're only gonna pay on the 62,500. And in this case, it gives us 9000 which half of this is actually deductible in the S corporation return. So we get an additional deduction here, so our net income comes out to be even less. And so basically the main difference is that here we pay taxes, as a sole prop, we pay taxes on 125 whereas here we pay taxes on our officer compensation only. And we elect to, to, to calculate that amount. So it's 9,000 9, against 17,000. There you know alone that we are saving taxes by electing to be taxed as an S Corp. This is an LLC fee in California. We pay either 800 or 15% of our net income. In this case, it's 62,500. Um, so our calculation is 10,000, just going into more details and as a sole prop, 17,000. So our savings is 7,000 if we elect to be an S Corp and our company is making over a hundred thousand. In this case, it makes sense to be, to elect to be taxed as an S Corp because you'll be saving a lot of money in taxes, at least you know, 7,000 and it goes up as your profits go up as well. Example number three, receiving wages from another company 
and also having our own our own business does it make sense to stay as a schedule c or should we switch to an escort let's see the numbers so blah blah our company made 125,000 and also got paid from our nine to five job in this case we got paid 75,000 so our our numbers are the same uh, it's last example so it was 190 minus 65 gives us 125 as net income but we also got paid from our other company or our other employer 75,000 this is our total income for the year 125 plus 75 okay so when we have wages from another company the self schedule c calculation becomes a little more complicated um so it's the same thing as the first step is the same as last one which is the 125 our net income 125 times our self-employment tax gives us a 17,000. now since we already paid taxes on our wages from another company they pay taxes our self-employment taxes for us and we also pay some self-employment taxes um, the IRS limits our self-employment tax for our business up to this number so in this case is ten thousand dollars so basically is if you if we would have made seventy five thousand dollars as our own business income this is the ten thousand that we would have paid so since we already paid it uh we're the irs lets us choose not let us choose but let us pay the less of the seventeen thousand or ten thousand so in this case, of course, is the ten thousand that we're paying as self-employment taxes. So if your business is making one twenty-five thousand, and you also have wages from another company of seventy-five thousand, your self-employment tax as a Schedule C is ten thousand dollars, ten thousand five hundred twenty-seven. Now, if we form an S corporation, same numbers as before, one twenty-five as net income and we choose to pay a reasonable salary of 62,000 our net income is 62,000 62,500 uh, so we pay our self-employment taxes of 9,000 and the same our $800 fee for our California California fee or 1.5% so it's 937 our total tax for having an S corp and making 125 plus the 75,000 is 10,000, 10,500. So in this case, it clearly makes no sense to form an S corporation to save taxes, even though we're making this much money, 125. And the reason is because we're also running, or we also receive wages from another company of 75,000. Because in this $75,000, we have already paid self-employment taxes on this, and our employer help us pay half of it so that's why the calculation is different and that's why it makes no sense to form an corporation and stay as a schedule c instead again this is on, on one person um single member s corporation how to do the switch so you determine that your client will save money by forming an s corporation what do we do now so you uh, you tell them to form an LLC or a corporation with their state. Uh, here in California, we have the Secretary of State. Uh, here's the website at soSCA.gov. As a CPA, you cannot help them with this legal formation because you're not an attorney. Only attorneys, registered agents, or uh, an online service like LegalZoom can can do it. Uh, there are also filings with this LLC uh, with the state not a tax return but just filing with the state again as a cpa you cannot help them with this and make sure you review your state requirements for this llc or corporate formation um so the llc and corporations are legal entities now we cannot form an s corporation with the state we form an s corporation by requ requesting to the irs um, to give us the election, to give us that status as an S corporation. Uh, to do that, we 
have to file a Form 553. The Form 553 can be filed by itself um, uh, 60 days after you form the, the LLC or corporation with the state. Or you can wait until your tax due is due, which is the following year, uh, you, typically on March 15. But if you do that, it will be a, a late election. In this case, please make sure that you're filing, uh, that you're adding on top of that form 2553, uh, this that is a late election, and this is the co the the um, I guess in quotation that you have to add on um, on top of the page. I'll show you in the next slide what um, what it should look like. It's here. So this is the form five five three. This is any tax software will have this where you just click on it and it will appear on the form on the 5553 and um, yeah, make sure it's, this is the most recent one as of 2020. And then here, this is if you file it late. If, you, if it's within 60 days after um, you form the LLC, then uh, you don't need to uh, enter this or this. But in this case, since we're late, uh, we have to make sure this is there and um, just a simple explanation why it was um, not even why I just said that it was a mistake that we didn't file it on time that's it let's see next is what that part part one will look like make sure you're you have the shareholder name and address um, as well as the signature date and uh, the share percentage that they have the day they were acquired their social security and the tax year. 